Alright, you know what? I'm real sorry that I didn't do a damn Bad Girls Club recap last week, but I'm going to be honest with y'all. I lost interest in the show. Real tea. Like, I lost interest in the show, and I just didn't feel like doing it no more. Last week's show was all about Kate being a hoe. Kate was fucking around with her best friend and ended up having an affair with her best friend, who's a woman. And she felt like, you know, well, it's a lesser crime to have an affair with a woman. It'll be okay if I tell my boyfriend because he would even be interested in watching or being a part of it. She called her boyfriend and her boyfriend said, you know what? Goodbye. Yeah, because there's a lot of men you could call and be like, hey, baby. Um, yeah, me and my best friend. Well, we just had an affair with you. And, um, and he'll be like, ooh, for real? Can I watch? Ooh, can I be a part of it? It's a lot of men out there like that. But see, Kate wasn't going with that man. Kate was going with a grown ass man who said, you're not bringing that bullshit into my relationship. You understand what I'm saying? You're not bringing that bullshit into my relationship. Because if you'll cheat with her, you'll cheat with him, you'll cheat with them, bitch, goodbye. And I agree with him 100%, okay? So this brings me into this week. Kate turns up to be sick. This bitch is coughing with flu-like symptoms. You understand what I'm saying? I thought Kate had the package. I thought she had the package. I thought she had it. Could come to find out, Kate had the swine flu. So then I'm thinking, okay, well, she must have got the, fly, the swine flu from Lexi's Miss Piggy ass. That's where she got the swine flu from. But no, she didn't get it from Miss Piggy. She just happens to have swine flu. So she calls the house, right? And she tells the girls at the house. So all the girls at the house is laughing and shit. Like, ah, you got swine flu. Making jokes and shit about it. First of all, if you call me and we all live in the same house and you say, I got swine flu. Bitch, what was you touching when you was here? Was you? I got Lysol in my hand. Where were you touching the door now? Where else was you at? Was you over here, bitch? Did you touch the banister, bitch? Was you on the phone, bitch? Where else was you at? Just let me know. I need to know everywhere you was. Was you down over there, girl? You know what I'm saying? I'm a Lysol and Clorox everything I own. I'm Lysol and bleach all day, every day. And I'm taking a bath. Oh, I'm draining the pool. I'm draining the jacuzzi. Okay, shit need to be clean. This bitch got swine flu and live in the same house as me? Hell no. So these bitches are actually fucking joking and laughing about the shit. But anyway, let me just go right into this shit too. While it's still fresh on my mind. Because I don't really know how a lot of y'all gonna take this. And I, I really, I don't give a damn. But I want to talk. First of all, Amber got her ass whooped when she went out to the club. That girl saw her with her man and whooped her ass. But... Before I get into Amber getting her ass whooped and she need to leave the bad girls club because she got her ass whooped that damn bad. You supposed to be a bad girl. That bitch was whooping your ass like she was auditioning for the bad girls club. Okay. She beat your ass. But anyway, who the hell goes to the club with a man? Who does that? Who the fuck does that? I, let me tell you something. I love Diggy to death. If Diggy was to go right now to me, Brian, I want you to go to the club with me. I'm going to say no because I know how I know what the club is. I know the second I see somebody dancing on Diggy, I'm going to have a fucking problem. I'm going to come out of a bag and bust a nigga's ass, okay? I'm going to bust whoever's ass that's dancing with him first. And then I'm going to bust Diggy's ass. Flip the script. If I was to go to the club with Diggy, Diggy sees somebody dancing on me. He going to bust whoever ass I'm dancing with. And then turn around and kick my goddamn ass, okay? So I don't know who the hell goes to the club with a boo. That's just something you don't do, okay? So how you going to get mad for the club being the club? Bitch, get over it. But anyway, let's bring it to Amber's boyfriend. Okay, Amber's boyfriend came into the house. Okay, before he even came into the house, I was clocking his silk head wrap. And I'm like, is that Fendi? Is that a Fendi silk head wrap? All right. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. Now, now, notice I didn't say all right. Because I can say all right. This is not a problem with my speech. It's not a problem with me enunciating, bitch. I can say all right. But I said, all right. Mm-hmm. Then this nigga get in the house and grab that stripper pole and swung around that bitch with perfection. And I was like, how you doing? Mm-hmm. How you doing? Because I'm going to tell you something. Uh, how you doing her will never walk past a stripper pole. If there's a stripper pole in the house, we're going to be all over it, okay? A straight dude will walk past it because that ain't his thing. He ain't really think. Us, we are performers, bitch. We are going to perform on the fucking pole. 
Okay? So the second he swung around on that pole, I was like, that's a down low brother right there. That's one of them DL brothers. And I'm going to tell you something about a DL brother. Sisters, I hope y'all paying attention right now. And I hope that a lot of the white women are paying attention. Uh, matter of fact, ladies, I want y'all to pay attention to what I'm about to say to you, period. Because you may know somebody, okay? Down low brothers have a tendency to go for white women. They go. They have a tendency to hide behind white women. And I'm going to tell you why. Because white women are more gullible than black women. I could get away with more with a white woman than I can with a black woman. I'm going to give you an example. Since y'all sitting there acting like, Oh, Brian, what the fuck you talking about? That's bullshit. You know, I'm, white girl, calm down. I'm going to give you an example. A download brother will go to his girl, who's white, and say, um, Baby, I need to go out of town for the weekend. I'll be back on Monday. It's a business trip. Now, this motherfucker work at McDonald's. It's a business trip. I'll be right back. I'll write you, okay? I'll call you. Now, so what she'll say is, Okay, honey. Call me. Write me. Send me a postcard. Bye. And she'll sit her ass in that house until he come back. A black girl. Um, honey, I have to go away on a, on a business trip. Um, I'll be back at the end of the weekend. I'll be back this Monday. I'll call you. She'll turn to her man. All right. Call me. Write me. Send me a postcard. He'll walk out the house. He'll get into the car. Pull out the driveway. She will walk out the house. Get in her car. With the headlights off. And follow your shit to find out where the fuck are you going. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying that white girls... Or a little bit more gullible. And that's why download brothers have a tendency to, to look for y'all. They go for y'all every single time. Because they can get away with more shit with y'all. I mean, it is what it is, girl. So anyway, that's what I'm basically, basically saying about Kate's, not Kate, well, about um, Amber's boyfriend. Another thing about Amber's boyfriend. And I, 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 I don't want people to take this the wrong way, but then I, I need to say it. You know, it's not every black man. It's not all of y'all. But some of y'all are guilty of this. A lot of times, black men go for the, the ugliest white woman. They go for the ugliest white woman. You know what I'm saying, sisters? They go for the ugliest white woman I ever seen. In my, they go for the white man's scraps. Period. And that's what Amber is. Because Amber is a one ugly ass white girl. And that's basically the white girl that the white man was like, you know what? I don't want that bitch. I don't want that bitch. I don't want that bitch. This little nigglet is like, ooh, I want her. She a trophy. She beautiful. Ooh, thank you, Mr. White Man, for giving me up. You know what I'm saying? Like, really? You with Amber? That ugly ass bitch. And then she old nappy head ass white girl. Oh, big old puffy ass point. The bitch need a touch up. Some dark and lovely right here on the roots. You know what I'm saying, bitch? Nappy head fucking... Bitch, anyhow, enough of Amber. How much time are we talking about that shit? Most of my damn time. Let me find out. I'm going to do two videos on the Bad Girls Club. Let me fall on down. Um, what else I want to talk about before I run out of time on the Bad Girls Club? Kendra's a whore. Annie got fucking flow together. Annie got flow together. And Flo walked in that room where Annie was. And Annie was like, because Flo was like, I just want to know, are you okay? Are you all right? Annie was like, uh-uh, bitch. No, no, bitch. You want to write letters and send text messages and shit and talk about me? You know what? I'm sick of motherfuckers trying to act like they're my friend and shit and my friend in my face. But when I turn my back, y'all want to talk shit about me. No, get the fuck out of here. The same way you came in, walk the fuck out. Annie got Flo's ass together. Annie went off, okay? And uh, one more thing before I go, girl, because I'm not going to do two videos. I'm going to try to get this shit out as quick as possible. That stripper that came in to teach everybody how to strip, that was a skinny ass bitch. That was old skinny, sickly looking bitch. Let me tell you something. See, those who can't do teach, that's why she's a teacher. That's why she's a teacher. Because I don't want, she could walk out there in a, in a real strip club to brothers and we're going to be like, ugh. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. And I know y'all looking at me like, Brian, Diggy's skinny as hell. Yes, Diggy is skinny as hell. My braver is skinny. But my stripper... My stripper is an old, thick, big, titty ass bitch. You understand what I'm saying? Old, big, thick, titty bitch. Okay? Could hold a goddamn Glade spray can right here just and hold it. That's how big she is. But that little now skinny bitch that was up on that pole. Don't nobody want that girl. 
so nobody want that girl. And we had 10 minutes, girl. And I didn't even tell y'all that Natalie is my bitch. Natalie is my bitch again this week. And the reason why is because Natalie runs that house. She is a, she is the Geppetto. And they are the puppets. And that's all I got to say. Double snap up. And go.